Guys, like and subscribe in five seconds if you want to transform into an alien in Minecraft. Hey, what's up guys? Double A12 here, and welcome back to another awesome Minecraft video for you guys today. Today, guys, I have something that, you know, I've showcased before that actually got a pretty cool update that it wasn't able to do before, which, you know, you, you guys will see in a minute. But I guess right before we get started with today's video, if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell just like I hit this cow down there down below so you guys never miss a brand new video. And guys, I guess today's like goal is going to be... 10 likes and i'm only saying 10 because of i guess the uh you know the specific uh topic of today's video so you guys will see so i guess let's just get started so i think about a weekish ago i'm not exactly sure when i posted this video i made a video where i showcased a bunch of aliens from ben 10 in minecraft and uh, it's kind of weird they updated it so you can actually you know use the omni tricks that you know ben was able to use so um I guess let's just get right into it and, you know, kind of get started. So, right now, we're currently looking into a chest. This chest has a bunch of, you know, normal Minecraft blocks in my, or Minecraft stuff in my opinion, which is, you know, iron, and then emerald, and redstone. Now, all the stuff we just grabbed in this chest, right, they, uh, they're actually what you're gonna need to use in order to use the Omnitrix in Minecraft. So, first of all, uh, let's make the Omnitrix. So, um, in order to make the Omnitrix, you guys are going to need an emerald in the middle of the crafting table. Um, I believe it's on all the corners you have to put a piece of iron ingots, and then you put redstone where it's left over, and then there we go. You guys have created the Omnitrix in Minecraft, and uh, you guys see, we are uh, quickly, we, we just basically wore the Omnitrix, so pretty simple. You know, now we have, in, you know, we have access to like all the aliens and all that, so as you guys can see, you guys can literally just go through each of them and transform to them. So I guess let's get started and transform into an alien, guys. So first one, Wild Mutt. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, here we are. It actually shows you the battery amount of, I guess, the um, <laughs> Omnitrix is what it looks like in first person, by the way. So yeah, you do have a time limit just like Ben does whenever he uses it. But you're able to stay that alien until that time runs out. As Wild Mutt, as you guys can see, we can easily break um, blocks pretty easily whenever we attack, you know, um, whenever we attack, basically, it breaks the um, ground underneath us. We jump pretty high. This is equivalent to jump four, it looks like it. And we, we have a lot of hearts. As you guys can tell, uh, Wild Mutt has uh, about 90 health total, so it's pretty cool. You guys can basically take on mobs pretty easily. Does 16 melee damage, and uh, it's immune to fall damage. So, uh, yeah, also apparently we can sit. I don't know. I guess this is the sitting position. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, pretty simple stuff and all of that. Um, the thing is, I don't know. Uh, the thing is, okay. Whenever you do use these transformations, it does work like, you know, like you normally expect. Like, you know, you become the alien, you stay in it for the time limit that it basically gives you, which, you know, honestly, um, looks like around 100 seconds. I'm not exactly sure what the time limit really is, but you guys can basically play as Wild Mutt for, you know, um, that amount of time. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, <laughs> we're actually gonna wait until the Omnitrix runs out of battery, so, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we waited all that time and I kind of want to show you guys what it looked like whenever you transformed back, you know, after the time limit does run out and the battery, I guess, you know, runs out. So four, three, two, one, and then, you know, it, it, you basically transform back. Simple. And uh, if you guys can't tell, whenever you do make a transformation, you transform back to your normal self. The Omnitrix actually does need to recharge. And yet you can tell by uh, the red icon on the um, Omnitrix and all that. So we're going to put that away for about a minute while we wait for it to recharge. It looks like recharging is a lot faster than, I guess, you know, waiting for it to, you know, um, I guess, die. Which I wish, you know, there was a way to just, like, get out of, like, you know, um, the transformation. But, you know, and there isn't. So let's just go to the next transformation, which is about to happen now. So for the next transformation, we are actually going to try out forearms and 
just like that, wear four arms. Now, four arms is an alien with four arms, and uh, he's super strong. So, he actually does move slower than you normally do, but that's because he's a really heavy dude. But, at, you know, um, in, but, you know, in response to that, he is insanely strong. He does around 17 to 25 damage and immune to fall damage just like that he apparently can't be knocked back or you can't be knocked back while you are in this form and i guess a, the best way to i guess um i guess try this out is we'll try going nighttime all right so we're gonna do slash time set night so set night and we're just gonna let some mobs i guess spawn in hopefully you guys can see well and all that we're gonna try fighting a bunch of mobs in this form and see you know um how strong we are and as you guys can see we can break blocks simply just by punching them it's pretty quick and simple um i, I don't know why when you look down it doesn't seem like it works too well so it's really just the blocks in front of you so animations are pretty cool too and all that so uh mobs if you guys could just spawn that'd be great i love to be in a fight right now guys bro where are the mobs maybe gotta do midnight so uh midnight and hopefully you guys can see clearly enough um huh it's kind of weird how, okay, food disappears whenever it's, like, just there. Uh, can we just eat that? It's weird, you can't eat food in this form. And, oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry if you guys can't see, by the way. So, A12, night vision, 9999, one true. All right. Yeah, okay. They're pretty much really strong. Again, you're basically resistant to knockback, so you really don't get knocked back that much. But, yeah, so, if you're four arms, you can basically take on a bunch of, like, fights and all that, and, I don't know. He was never really a favorite of mine, he just seemed like, I just felt like whatever four arms could do, Diamond Head could just do a lot better, and we'll get to Diamond Head pretty soon, but, yeah. Let me know, by the way, which one's your favorite Ben 10 transformation that we're about to, like, showcase in a minute, so, and we just gotta wait for the watch to die again. And we're back! I swear, it takes so long to get back into the state. But, uh, whatever. Alright, alright. So, okay. This next alien I'm about to showcase, I like the concept of it. I personally hate using it. So, before we do that, we should probably solve our hunger problem real fast. So, A12, saturation, 9999, 255. True, that way we don't get hungry during these transformations. Okay. So, this next alien, not really a favorite of mine. I do love the concept of, um, I guess, this alien, though. But, okay, let's just transform to it. So, this alien is gray matter. So, uh... Uh... There we go. So, if you guys don't know gray matter, it's basically one of Ben's smallest aliens. And, uh... The thing about gray matter, oh, that's weird how you look like your normal size like that. But, in, you know, when you go into, like, toggle perspective, you're like... That is trippy like you're like normal size when you're like this and then like this you're obviously small huh what the heck okay so the thing was gray matter right um he's a good alien because he's actually the most intelligent alien species i guess you know that you can like transform to but he's incredibly weak aside from being small his real like talent is like he can't be seen too easily like you can probably slip by a few mobs and they won't bat an eye majority of the time and again he's really small and all that but the thing with this one is, it literally has 55 health. So, I mean, it's more health than you have normally as a player. But it's also very weak. Like, you see this punch? It does, like, 4 damage. And uh, that's not exactly too much. Killing that spider should not have taken that long. But, I don't know. Personally, for me, Grey Matter was never really one of my favorites. I did understand, like, how cool of a concept Grey Matter was. But... I don't know. And plus, you know, I guess Asmus, the creator of the Omnitrix, was the same species that Grey Matter was. I don't remember the species name, but hey, you know, Grey Matter is Grey Matter. He was extremely useful for a lot of things. And one thing that was pretty weird, okay, now I'm gonna just like say this out loud. I don't know if I'm remembering the series well for you people who've watched Ben 10, but like in one of those future episodes, right? The one that like showed Ken 10 for the first time, like Ben's son, right? Ken. They didn't like. You know, his son used a gray matter transformation in order to, you know, like, put in the master code for the Omnitrix so he can, like, just transform into whatever without the time limit. Like, why didn't Ben do that? Like, I felt like that would have been extremely easy. I, I, I don't know. Like, I felt like that was just a big plot hole that, you know, Ben never took advantage of, like, the master control. And I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, something that, you know, like, just explained that. But for you people who watch Ben 10, please let me know. And, um... Yeah, I can't wait for this transformation to be over.
Guys, I'm literally being attacked by that, uh, skeleton right there while I'm, like, you know, transformed as gray matter. So if this transformation could just hurry up, huh. I would hate being stuck in, like, a small area as gray matter while, you know, like, transforming back. But whatever, okay. So, alright, alright. Now we're about to transform into, like, probably one of my, you know, more favorite aliens, alright. Um, this one is actually, it has a really cool way of, like, spelling it, so, the alien's name is Accelerate, which, you guys can probably guess its ability, running fast and all that, and the cool thing about Accelerate, it's literally spelled like this, um, let's see, this is probably the easiest way to do it, uh, so basically it's spelled X-L-R-8, and basically like that, right, and I thought it was the coolest way to spell it ever, and you know what, I'll just show you guys real quick. So there we go. Yeah. Now accelerate. It's a super fast alien, like extremely fast. Like I think I don't know how fast the speed is equivalent in Minecraft, but check this out, okay? So you're just you know normal, and then you know when you start moving, it like you know it's literally a species where it like drops down some pretty cool mass because I guess you know you move so fast you need to like be ready for the wind resistance. But it's pretty cool. So it has like 90 health and um. It moves faster on water, apparently, so let's try that, let's try that. Uh, come on, water, water. We're almost there, we're almost there. Accelerate was one of my favorites, in my opinion. Yeah, check that- Whoa! That is actually insane speeds, what? Okay, that's pretty cool. Apparently it does like 14 melee damage and it's actually really fast at attacking. Oh yeah, I can see it, so it's definitely fast attacker and all that, so... I don't know, Accelerate was one of my favorite ones and all that. I just liked the whole super speed concept of it, and the design was so top tier. Look at, look, just, okay, guys, 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 look, okay, so normal, and then you start moving, and there's that mask, so, I don't know. Accelerate was one of the better ones, in my opinion, so, uh, let me know if you guys loved Accelerate, or if you guys hated Accelerate. I personally loved him. Or her, or it depends who has the Omnitrix, obviously. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, let's just, you know... Dude, it, like, attacks fast, too, so it just does things. But, okay. Anyways, let's just, uh... We gotta wait for the Omnitrix, too, I guess. Um, die. No, let me keep the transformation for a bit longer. I've been having a lot of fun running around. No! Okay, let me run back before the transformation ends, and... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we are really fast. And there we go. We're back to normal boring Eris. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, why am I so weak? Alright, whatever. We took it down and all that. But anyways, alright. Now, this next one, I think the concept of this one was probably one of my favorites. And we're just going to get the rust bucket ready because um, I want to see if we can actually do something cool to it while we're transformed. And this one is called Upgrade. First of all... The name is top tier, like literally just upgrade, and it's a it's basically an alien that can like merge onto like technology and all of that. So let's do this. So uh, upgrade should be the silhouette. There we go. Upgrade. Now upgrade's main thing was it could literally just like merge with the rust bucket or like any like technological like you know thing right like upgrade could just like merge with any type of technology a car like a computer and you know it, it it could do its thing right it was it was pretty cool like that that was the main thing of it but I think an underrated ability upgrade had was literally to uh you know shoot lasers and that thing was destructive yo. There we go. Check that out. Guys, seriously, look how cool this is. I don't know why Ben didn't use the laser that often, but you know, I guess it's it's more practical for like, like, you know, merging onto the technological or like a car or like an airplane or something. But I don't know, Upgrade was pretty cool like that. It has 80 health, is immune to fall damage once again, and all that. And I want to see if I can merge with this thing. How would I merge? Do I just, like, try to ride it? No, I don't think I can merge with the Rust Bucket if I'm Upgrade itself, huh? I don't know. Could I... Okay, Rust Bucket, I am sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... So I don't think I can actually merge with the Rust Bucket myself if I'm Upgrade, but, you know, if you guys remembered from the last video, Upgrade could do it itself, so... Yeah, so if you guys want to try it out, eh, it's up to you guys, but, uh, as usual, we gotta wait for the Omnitrix to die. 
Bam! You know, now to think about it, we might as well use Upgrade to get rid of the Rust Bucket. It can't even do that much, so... There we go. Bye-bye, Rust Bucket. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the explosion. I don't know, Upgrade's like... I don't know, it's really devastating. I didn't expect the damage to do this much. Like, imagine just looking at an enemy, and then... Bam, they're gone. Oh, oh, we did hit it, okay. Cow! I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, like, uh... I think shooting that thing is pretty cool. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, these lasers were a lot more fun than I expected them to be. Oh, uh, I'm gonna hate transforming back. No! Uh, okay, whatever. So, upgrade was cool. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Next alien. Now, this... It's probably one of my favorites, if it weren't for, uh, honestly, I think the only alien I thought that was cooler than Diamond Head, which is the alien we're about to use soon, is Heat Blast, which we'll show you guys later. But, um, basically, Diamond Head is a species made of some diamond-like substance. Like, it's like a diamond-made body. It can, like, shoot diamond spikes, summon diamond spikes, and it's basically really strong. I'll show you guys. Why the heck not? So, uh, accelerate, upgrade, Diamond Head... There we go, guys. It looks like there are commands for some attacks. So, Diamond Head has 90 health, immune to fall damage, and does 17 attack damage. So, if I punch this thing... Yeah, you're gone. Hello. Hello there. There we go. Yeah. And, you know, you can shoot diamonds from your hands. Like... You guys saw that? So pretty simple stuff and all that. That's other attacks it looks like if you type into command. So let's try it out. Uh, so it said slash function. Okay, so slash function DP spike circle. So, okay, so I think if we... Oh! That's so cool. So it actually replaces your melee attack. Okay, yo, come here, come here. Wait, what? Oh, that is so OP. I like this. What? Okay, wait, what are the other ones? So, slash function, DH spikes line. What does this do? Hey. Hey, 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 you, 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 you. Okay, I don't, that's not what I was me meaning to do. Oh, so it's basically just like a straight diamond line. What? Okay, Diamond Head might be one of the stronger aliens here. Look at that. It still has a one more attack. Um... Oh, okay, so you just disable the attack so you can go back to a normal, you know, punching status, so... Okay. Again, it, like, cuts down things pretty easily, too. Just, like, think forearms where it can, like, break stuff so quickly. So... I like how it's just, like, karate chopping everything. I don't know, that's so cool, actually. Um, how OP can I make the circle? Guys, look at, look, look at that! What? Okay, Diamond Head is definitely one of my favorites for this one. Uh, I'm honestly hoping they do, like, Heat Blast a lot better or something. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get rid of these guys. Why aren't you guys dying? Okay, whatever. We, uh... <laughs> okay, it looks like it's literally a circle. I feel like the, uh, spikes would probably be better for melee, right? Uh, yo, yo, let's test it out, let's test it out. Did... Okay, we didn't use the spikes for some reason. Oh, the line. There we go. There we go. Alright. <laughs> you guys think I'm having fun? <laughs> Bro, look at this. Oh, man. Okay. Alright. Alright. Hero time done. Alright. Alright. Okay. So we have a few more aliens to showcase. This next one is, just think about it as, you know, Ben's underwater alien. That's literally all Rip Jaws was. If, you know, there was water involved, you use Rip Jaws. Now, I don't know what I feel about Rip Jaws. Like, I felt like it's just, you know, very for specific situations. I preferred the aliens that are more diverse that, you know, you can use them for, like, a lot of different things. But, you know, Rip Jaws would do the job. And I, you know, and plus, you know, I think Jet Ray was basically could like you know not only fly but could go underwater but you know we don't have jet ray right now so uh all right so forearms gray matter accelerate upgrade uh rip jaws there we go so rip jaws is a fish yeah it can, it can survive on land too so it can do that but um basically it just swims really fast in water has 90 health and you know it does like you know um what 16 attack damage or something so if you guys need to go underwater and need a alien to use 
it, it, Rip Joss would be your guy. I was wondering, like, what if, like, Ben had to transform back to Ben while he was, like, you know, in a very deep spot underwater, but, hey, it, thank goodness it never happened, because that would have been really scary to deal with. Um, let's see if it can deal with, like, you know, uh, zombies pretty easily. Okay, it does, like, a good amount of damage. Yeah, it literally looks like it's slapping the zombies, but, you know, it, it does the job, you know? Alright, Rip Joss is a pretty respectable alien. All right, and moving fast on you know into water is something you kind of just expect with Rip Jaws. Breathes underwater too, obviously, so you know you you can just swim. <laughs> All right, I really don't really care too much about Rip Jaws, so we're gonna go to the next one. Alrighty, okay, finally we're done with Rip Jaws. I don't know, Rip Jaws really had not much to talk about him, I'm be honest. So was well, never really a favorite of mine. It just did the job. Now this next alien is. Okay, just think about Ripjaws, but if Ben needed to fly, this was the alien he would use, which I never understood why he wouldn't just use, like, I don't know, Heat Blast? If Heat Blast could fly, like, I, I don't know, but okay. So, now the funny thing about Stinkfly, now that I realize, Jet Ray really just replaced both Stinkfly and, um, you know, um, I guess Ripjaws, like, use, because, you know, Jet Ray could survive underwater and fly, and I'm pretty sure it could fly faster than Stinkfly, like, a lot faster, so... I'm just hoping it's not faster than Accelerate, because it really would have replaced Accelerate as well. But, okay. Anyways, so... Stinkfly is this one. There we go, guys. So, Stinkfly... Um, uh, first of all, we can fly now. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I really don't know what else to say. But, it also has, like, 90 health, is what you'd expect. And, it shoots stink balls, like... It's kind of gross, but it does do it. I don't know how strong it is, because we haven't hit anything yet. So, hey, 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 get over here. Get over here. Why haven't we hit you yet? There we go. There we go. So, yeah, it was kind of like a gross alien, but, you know, it did the job in a lot of cases and all that. So, I really don't know. Stinkfly was, yeah, just a flying alien, I guess. Huh. Really not much else to say other than that. Okay, okay, the Omnitrix's watch is about to die. Nope, 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 into water, into water, into water, into water, into water, please! Okay. Alright, alright, that was a very, very dangerous game we were playing there. Um, alright, alright, now this next alien we're about to showcase is, uh, it was, it's kind of weird. I think in the series, like, Ben used to use them, and then something happened with it, where it had, I guess, a mind of its own, left to watch, and then, you know, um... Ben had to beat him and got him back again. It's basically a ghost alien. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just imagine, like, if Danny Phantom were an alien. If, I don't know if you guys know who Danny Phantom is, but, um, okay. Let's we'll just transform into him. So, uh, should be right after Stinkfly. This is Ghost Freak, guys. So, uh, yeah, alright. So, Ghost Freak is a ghost. It can float, has 80 health, it's immune to fire apparently, it can do 15 melee damage, and apparently has a chance of becoming invisible when it attacks, so... Alright, it didn't happen there. Uh, I'm trying to like get it to happen. I don't know. Alright, but whatever, but you could actually get, turn invisible yourself, you know, whenever you need to, it looks like it, so... Um, yeah. There we go, we're invisible. But we move very slowly when we do it, because we have to be sneaking while we do it. So, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It apparently, like, it, it's just, just imagine, like, some ghost powers. I really don't have a lot to say about Ghost Freak, because it, it was used, like, a few times, but not, like, enough to the point where I really cared about Ghost Freak and all that. And I swear, after, like, Ben got it back, he never used it again, so... Yeah, well, we're just gonna, um, move on to the more interesting aliens, and I think these last two are actually my favorite ones, like, aside from Diamond Head. Alright, so we are back, and okay, now this next alien I'm about to showcase, right, it was kind of weird, because, um, you know, um, at the time in the series, right, I didn't think there could be more than 10 aliens in the Omnitrix, and this was like the first real new one that ever got shown, or you know, like, yeah. And you guys should know what this one is if you guys have ever seen Ben 10. Um, Cannonbolt, guys. So, Cannonbolt, I think, was one of the coolest concepts I've ever seen. Uh, okay, wait, wait let's quickly eat so we don't have to like be hungry while we're transformed, and uh, check this out, okay? So, 
Okay, if we just get to uh, Cannibalt real quick, that'd be kind of cool. So, there we go, and there we are, Cannon Bolt. And as you guys can see, when we move, like, when we move fast, we can actually become the Cannon Bolt, like, uh, form that he takes, which is really strong. It does, like, a lot of damage, and as you guys can see, like, literally just runs through these mobs really nicely and all of that, so... Okay, and you, it also does, like, a good amount of damage, um... 15 melee damage if I can I don't know why I can't hit this thing so I'm just gonna roll on it so uh yeah and it has a thousand oh, like not a thousand a hundred health and for some reason okay for some reason it just cancels out my night vision so hopefully you guys can see it pretty well but cannibal is cool like that like it, at first when I, I remembered Ben didn't really know how to use it and then when he figured it out it like handled like I guess some really big like um alien thing he had to deal with so again for whatever reason i don't know why i can't hit anything i don't know what's going on so rolling seems to be the way to go and i do think rolling to kill your opponents is i guess the better way to go about this so i don't know let me know your guys thoughts down below but cannibalt was definitely one of the coolest like aliens in my opinion Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is really addicting for some reason, like, I don't know why, I just literally want to roll here and clear out as much space as possible, uh, well, we got like 30% left on the battery, so might as well waste it all, I guess? Bro, no, I'm gonna hate not being able to do this, no, okay. There we go. All right. All right. I mean, it's fine. Look at how much space we, I guess, cleared out, I guess. For some reason, we have speed still. I don't know where we got it from, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Anyways, all right. All right. Now that we can see again, this na this last alien is probably, you know, the coolest looking one. Let's all be real. When we all saw Heat Blast as, you know, um, whenever we decided to watch Ben 10 in our lifetime, um... It was the coolest one, like, it, it, not the coolest, but the hottest one, if you guys know what I mean. So, you know what? No introductions needed. Let's just turn into Heat Blast, so this should be the final alien we should be able to transform to. Bam. Alright, so if you guys don't know who Heat Blast is, basically, it's like literally just a bunch of fire. Like, literally a bunch of fire. Heat Blast has 90 health. He's immune to fire, obviously. It apparently, um, gets hurt when it's in the water, which makes a lot of sense, you know. Heat Blast is Heat Blast, so... Ugh. Yeah, okay, let's just try it. Oh, yeah, get out of the water. Out of my way, please. Alright, but it can also shoot, um, fire, so... Yeah, very simple stuff. So, Heat Blast just shoots fire, can control fire. You know, it just is what it is. It's a pretty simple, um, alien to, you know, I guess, uh, learn about and all that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the aliens available on this version of the Omnitrix, guys. So, I guess if you guys want to try transforming to an alien yourself, I'll link everything you guys will need down below. Check out the crater as well. I didn't, like I said, I literally, like, showcased the add-on. It didn't have this, and then, you know... I mean, update came out, and you uh, transformed all these aliens, and I think it's, like, literally the coolest thing ever. So, I guess we'll end it off here, guys. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, and, uh, peace. Bye, guys.